The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. A very good afternoon to all. Today we have Pranav Chandilya, who is a growth manager from the small case team. He would be introducing basket investing and its features and its benefits to everyone. Please welcome Mr. Pranav. Yes. Uh, thanks everyone for joining in. Um, so good evening to everyone. Um, today's session is going to be a very simple session where um, we'll be talking more about how basket investing works, why basket investing is the next priority and how that will shape how future investments are going to happen and are going to be perceived in the near future as an investment mechanism in India by retail investors. So uh, without further ado, uh, let us start the presentation. So this is in collaboration with HDFC Securities and we will be talking about their platform in general and how small cases or you know basket investing works on the HDFC platform. So now let us take a look at what basket investing is in general. Now basically all of us have been accustomed to one type of investing that is purchasing one or two stocks and letting it run in the account for quite some time. There are other modes of investing where traditionally people have been uh, looking at investing in the markets more from a technical standpoint for a very short duration of time. So this, as we know, is called a short term trading. But in the long run, these mechanisms have had its own set of shortfalls and they're not really in, a, in, in the long perspective. It might not really work out for investors. So what we have done here is we have come up with a new way of investing where we basically curate different varieties of portfolios on different ideas strategies and so on and we call it basket investing which means that you will be able to invest in certain ideas themes or strategies depending on a certain philosophy now let us explore this further now on the hdfc platform we have something called basket investing so before exploring that, let us first try to understand what small cases are. So most of you might have already heard of the term small cases everywhere. So basically small cases is nothing but it's a basket of stocks or exchange traded funds which are weighted intelligently to track a theme strategy or objective. What this means is that a small case can constitute a set of stocks or a set of ETFs or both and is called as basket investing. Now, on the HDFC platform, we have small cases which have zero management fees, which means that the users who are subscribing to these portfolios basically pay no management fees whatsoever. Now, small cases are also a great way to diversify your risk and basically reduce the risk amount in the long run because of the diversification that happens in your account. And the third most important feature on the small case platform is that we do not have any lock-in periods whatsoever in the sense that if you as an investor choose to invest in a particular portfolio or a small case you do not have any specific lock-in period which means that you can exit the portfolio as and when you desire to do so now let us take a look at what are, what is a fab invest so what we call as fab is features advantages and benefits of small cases now let us explore some of the features of small cases. The first feature is that we allow users to manage their own portfolio, which means that when you take part or when you subscribe or when you invest in a particular portfolio, basically the control of the portfolio lies with you, the user. So if you wish to remove one particular stock from a portfolio, or let us say you wish to rebalance your portfolio in a very specific way where you want to add extra units of one particular stock or change the weightage of one particular stock, you are allowed to do so. So traditionally, we have seen instruments where the user has very little control over the portfolio that has been pre-decided by a particular manager. But here on small case, the entire onus or the entire control of the portfolio lies with the user. Now, when you invest in a small case, we do understand that initially you would have started off with a certain amount of investment. But with more and more feedback from users, 
we have initiated something called as the invest more option. So over here on the small case ecosystem, using the invest more option down the line, post you have subscribed to the portfolio, it could be one month, it could be one year, it could be two years. Whenever you wish to, as a user, you can use the invest more option to add more funds to the portfolio. So if you have already subscribed to one small case, and let us say over a period of time, over two months or three months, if you wish to add more to the portfolio because you feel that the portfolio is doing very well or you feel that the markets are undervalued right now and it could go up, there could be a variety of reasons why. But if you choose to do so, you can use the invest more option to invest more in the very same portfolio. Now, we have the third most important feature called as off market orders, which means that you as investors can place orders even post the market hours. So once the market hours have closed post 3.30, you can place your orders and it will get executed at 9.15 at the market open on the very next day. So this, these are called as off market orders, which have also been enabled on the small case platform. Now we have one more facility called as partial exit. Now we are all aware that we have subscribed to portfolios and we do own portfolios or baskets of stocks in our trading and demand accounts. But a partial exit enables us to exit a part of the portfolio in an equivated format. Let me explain more with an example. Let us say you have a small case which has 10 stocks in it. Now, let us say that over a period of time, you want to exit half of the portfolio. Now, generally what tends to happen is that the user is usually accustomed to exiting one or two stocks entirely in order to make excess funds available for him. But on the small case ecosystem, we have a partial exit option where the users can simply click on partial exit and a part of the portfolio as per the user's discretion will be exited out. So if you want to exit from 20% of the portfolio, that can be enabled on the platform. If you want to exit 50% of the portfolio, that can be enabled on the platform. Now, the next important feature we have is called as the create basket option. So here you get to create your own stock baskets without any hassles. What it means is that if you have a broader opinion on the markets, let us say that you believe that the markets are going to appreciate from this point of time and specifically you believe that the pharma sector is going to do well. Now, in this case, what you can do is log into smallcase.com using your HDFC securities account, click on the create small case option and then you can add in stocks from the pharma sectors and create your own pharma fund. Now, we have other options also available where along with pharma stocks, if you believe that you wish to diversify a little more into other sectors. sectors. For example, if you want to diversify more into auto-based sector or financial sector, you're free to do so. You can, as easily as you created the portfolio, you can very well create it in such a way that 70% of the allocation happens towards the pharma fund and 20% of your allocation happens towards the auto sector and 10% towards the finance sector. So these portfolios or baskets can be created by users at your own discretion and will. Now, the next important feature we have is the auto SIP option. Now with auto SIP, basically SIP stands for systematic investment plans. So here, if you wish to allocate a certain amount of funds into your portfolio on a monthly basis, then we have enabled that on the platform. So on this ecosystem, you have SIP options available from weekly SIPs, fortnightly SIPs and monthly SIPs, even quarterly SIPs. So as per your wish, if you wish to set up monthly or weekly SIPs, that has also been enabled on the small case ecosystem. Now, the next thing that we will be exploring is called as the benefits. So what is basically the benefit of basket investing for you as users? So let us take a look at some of them. The first one is the dashboard view, which means that all small case users get to have their own dashboard view under my investments. So once you have subscribed to, or once you have, let us say, invested in any small case portfolio, the dashboard view basically on the back end 
allows you to view your entire portfolio, the set of stocks that has been purchased in this portfolio, what is its weightage, and what has been the daily changes in the entire portfolio with respect to the index. And also, you will be able to find details like CAGR, that is compounded annual growth rate. How has the portfolio been performing over a period of one year ever since it was made live? How has the portfolio performed historically against the index and so on? We have one more amazing feature on the small case platform, which is news related to stocks. So generally, what we tend to notice is that we have an excess in, you know, information flux these days when it comes to uh, the stock markets in general or the economy in general. So usually we have been bombarded from we're being bombarded by various irrelevant news with respect to the economy. It could be with respect to similar stocks in which you have your investments. It could be with respect to the stocks in which you have your investment and very biased opinion coming from various different sources in the markets. So what this leads to is a lot of confusion for the user as to whether or not a particular investment can be made or a particular stock can be held. Now, we have something called news related to stocks, which means that on your dashboard, you will be able to see news flows, news flows and feeds only with respect to the stocks for which you have made your investment. So let me start off with an example. Let us say you have a portfolio where you have eight stocks. Now, in this particular basket, out of the eight stocks, wouldn't it be great to have news flow only with respect to these eight stocks? That is what we have enabled on the small case platform. So from your dashboard, you will be able to see stock specific news of only those stocks you've invested. In. Again, uh, let me reiterate about the past performances for every portfolio on the small case platform. We have past performances or backtested performance with respect to the index, which means that you as users will be able to gauge and understand how a portfolio has performed in bull markets, in bear markets, and in a variety of market conditions as to how the portfolio performs with respect to risk and CAGR against an index. So this is something that is available in the dashboard view. We will be exploring this on a live screen very shortly. So the next concept is rebalancing. Now, we all know that portfolios cannot be stagnant over a period of time. So let us say that you've purchased a portfolio or a small case which has been curated by a semi registered investment advisor. Now, what I mean by this is we have spoken about small cases or basket investing up until now. But the primary question becomes for portfolios which have already been curated for small cases which are already present on the HDFC ecosystem. Who has designed these portfolios? So these portfolios have been designed either by the HDFC Securities Research Team or by semi registered professionals. Now, basically every portfolio over a period of time has to be rebalanced, which means that the stocks which have played out have to be removed and in its place stocks which are expected to perform well in the near future have to be added. Now, this procedure is called as a rebalance. Now, all small case portfolios are regularly rebalanced by our semi registered managers or semi registered professionals who are managing these portfolios, which means that over a period of time, many portfolios over a period of one year will get rebalanced if they have a yearly rebalance schedule. There are many portfolios which have a monthly rebalance schedule, which means that the fund manager reviews these portfolios on a monthly basis. And if rebalancing needs to be done, then the portfolio gets rebalanced, which means that a few stocks will be removed from the portfolio and a few more stocks will be added to the portfolio. So that is what we call as rebalancing. Now, every portfolio has a fixed date for rebalancing. So we have portfolios where we generally tend to uh, interact with users who prefer a high quality rebalancing at a very frequent duration. So for such portfolios, we have weekly rebalancing and we have monthly rebalancing scheduled on a very specific date. Now, we also have portfolios for long term investors who do not want to frequently rebalance their portfolio, but to want to stay invested in a particular fund for a long time. So in such cases, we have curated portfolios where the 
rebalancing cycle is once a year. So that is how the portfolios get rebalanced on the uh, small case platform. Now, if you wish to participate in a rebalance, all you have to do is approve the notification that gets sent out on the day of rebalancing. So let us say that you have a portfolio where you have 10 stocks and the fund manager has decided to remove two stocks and add two more stocks in its place. Now, in this case, you will receive that as a notification on your small case app, on your WhatsApp, on email and so on and from other communication sources. And all you have to do is tap a one click approval and the entire rebalance happens automatically without your intervention. So this is how the small case portfolios are rebalanced by the fund managers over a period of time. So basically you are not participating in a stagnant portfolio, but a portfolio which dynamically changes with time. Now, let us take a look at the next advantage of a small case. We know that small cases are baskets of stocks. So now where do these stocks basically get stored? So in this case, once you've logged in through your HDFC securities account, and once you've subscribed to a small case, or once you've invested in a small case, the set of stocks directly get credited to your own trading and demand account, which means that you as a user own the entire set of stocks that you've purchased right now. So when you purchase a basket, the stocks along with it directly come to your trading and demand account. Now, the next question arises, as to what happens to the dividends. Now, just like how the dividends get credited to your bank account, if you were owning a stock in your trading and demand account, the procedure here works in a very similar fashion. So once you've purchased a small case, the entire set of dividends that get generated with this whole set of stocks that you own will directly get credited to your linked bank account. So you own the entire portfolio in your own trading and demand account, and the dividends start coming to your bank account as usual. So this is how the small case ecosystem works. Now, let us take a look at the next important sector, that is the asset allocation. Now, we've all participated in basically portfolios which have pure exposure to direct equity instruments. Now, there is a need to balance the portfolio in such a way that the portfolio tends to perform in a mediocre condition even during bad market conditions or during disturbing market conditions. So in such cases, we have an asset allocation put in place where the fund managers can basically include asset classes like gold and fixed income assets into the portfolio. Now let me explain with an example. What we mean by gold is an instrument like gold piece. What we mean by fixed income income can be an instrument like liquid piece. What is basically happening right now is that let us say that you have a portfolio of 10 different stocks. Now the fund manager over a period of time, let us say believes that the markets are overvalued and that the portfolio has to be diversified in a way that the portfolio poses less amount of risk to the clients. So in this case, the fund manager on the small case ecosystem has the flexibility to balance the portfolio in such a way that asset classes like gold and liquid bees are added into the portfolio as per the weightage decided by the fund manager. So we all know that gold tends to perform, usually tends to perform uh, with a negative correlation to the market, which means that if the markets are correcting, gold usually tends to go up and fixed income assets are debt based assets, which generally tend to provide a nominal interest rate, keeping the price rate constant. So what basically happens is that these instruments act as a hedge against market correction. And when the market correction actually comes through, these instruments are expected to keep the portfolio stable. So this is how asset allocation also works on the small case ecosystem, where the fund managers are curating portfolios using direct equity stocks, also having the additional leverage to add in asset classes like gold and fixed income, which will help balance out the portfolio. So the next thing that we are going to look at is what about SIPs? So as we had discussed, usually in the long run, SIPs tend to work out in the best interest of the client. So as users, if you wish to explore systematic investing that is readily available on the small case platform, as we will show going forward, and you can enable 
SIPs in basket investing also. Now, the next question that arises is, what are the charges for basket investing? So clients do not have to pay any additional charges for investing in stock baskets apart from the regular charges that have been you know, made out to you by HDFC. So whatever brokerage rates you're paying on the HDFC platform will be the only charges with respect to the stocks being picked up in the trading and demand account. We do not charge anything additional or anything extra to our users for basket investing. Now, with that said, let us explore a little more about how to access these portfolios and basically where to find these portfolios. So now when we go to hdfcsec.com, so over there we have something called as basket investing. So once you click on the basket investing option, you're basically taken to a page where you can see all the portfolios that have been listed over here. So you can see portfolios like large cap legends, smart wealth moderate portfolio, and then HDFC pack, super pack 2021, all weather investing, equity and gold, and so on. So we have a lot of themes available over here for which clients can directly start their investments by logging into the small case ecosystem. So let us take a look at how that works. So let us say you've selected one of your portfolios. For example, let us say you've selected the smart wealth moderate portfolio. All you have to do is click on it and then click on the invest now button. So now to explain what we are seeing on the screen in a more vivid way, let us take a look at this particular portfolio. Now what this portfolio is will be mentioned over here. That is the name of the portfolio will be mentioned on top. And what this portfolio does in one sentence will be mentioned below that. So in this portfolio, this is basically a multi asset investment product that offers rule based rebalancing of underlying asset classes. Now, we only track live performance on this platform, which means that this portfolio has been live on the platform for about four months now and has provided a return of 7.41% to the users. So this is a medium volatility portfolio, which is shown over here. And an overview of this portfolio will be explained to you under the overview section. This is constant for all port portfolios across the ecosystem, which means that you will find the same set of, uh, uh, you know, uh, you will find basically the same data available on every portfolio with respect to the overview, the one liner about what the portfolio does, what the returns of the portfolio is, what is the volatility of the portfolio and so on. Now, you also find something called the minimum investment amount. Now, the minimum investment amount varies for each and every portfolio. So the minimum investment amount depends on the set of stocks that are present in the portfolio multiplied by the current market price of that portfolio. So the minimum investment amount varies according to market condition and really depends on the price of the portfolio at any given point of time or the price of the constituent set of stocks inside that portfolio at any point of time. Now, you also have access to something called as a fact sheet. So for those of you who are investment savvy and who want to explore more about a portfolio, all you have to do is click on the fact sheet button over here and a downloadable PDF will open up where you will basically find things like the rationale of the portfolio. What was the logic behind designing the portfolio? Who has created the portfolio? How has the universe of stocks been defined or the ETFs been defined for this portfolio? What is the research mechanism? Uh, how long has the historical backtesting been done? And how has the screening mechanism uh, been done for this portfolio? How does the weighting mechanism ha happen? Is it an equivated portfolio where all the stocks have the same weightage? Is it a custom based portfolio where every stock has different weightage? All that will be mentioned right over here in the fact sheet. Now, every portfolio will basically also undergo a rebalance if it is a pure stock portfolio. We will take a look at that in the next portfolio. Now, if you wish to invest in portfolios like this, all you have to do is once you've logged into the platform, you'll have to click on the invest now button. So once you click on the invest now button, this constituent stocks or ETFs of this portfolio will be visible here. So in this portfolio, we have the Edelweiss ETF, Nippon India ETF, that's Nippon India Nifty 50 ETF, Gold ETF and Junior BC ETF in the respective weightages and respective quantities. Now, 
if you want if you wish to make a one time investment you can click on the one time option here and you can basically you'll have to start out with the minimum investment in this case it is 4990 or if you wish to invest more you can increase the amount and you'll have to confirm the amount so once you confirm the amount the best possible value uh, to balance the portfolio properly will be chosen and will be locked over here post which you can verify what you are exactly buying by scrolling down so you'll find the set of etfs the same etfs that we had discussed and then with almost the same weightages that we had discussed with one thing changing which is the quantity so the quantity is now changing because we have increased the investment amount and these are all buy orders because we are right now buying this entire basket now if you click on the invest now button you'll be asked to confirm whether you want to make the investment and once you confirm the order kindly wait for about 15 to 20 seconds till the orders are filled which means that now hdfc is placing these orders for you in their respective quantities so as you can see all the orders have now been filled so investing in a basket is as simple as that so if you wish to see your investments all you have to do is click on the see investment section and you will be able to see your portfolio that is the smart wealth moderate portfolio which we subscribe to right away right over here and you can also see your the current value of the portfolio the investment value the returns and the total returns right over here now in order to invest more into this particular portfolio what you can do is head over to the investment section and over here you will find options to invest more into this portfolio so now let us say over a period of time you as users want to invest more in this portfolio you can click on the invest more option you can select any amount of your choice in this case i'm going to make it a 15000 amount just for the sake of simplicity i'll confirm the amount and then i'll click on the invest more option so once i do that again we'll have to give it about 10 to 15 seconds for the platform to execute the order and balance the portfolio accordingly and once that is done you will see the screen that you are seeing right now which says all orders have been filled so once you do that you can again click on the see investment section and you'll be able to see the current value of the portfolio and all the other metrics right over here now like we had discussed what if you wish to start an sip so in that case again under the my investment section below the invest more option you find an option called start sip which means that if i click on the start sip option right now it will basically give me or give you the users the date on which you wish to start your sip now let us say that i wish to start my sip 5 days from today so now let us say that i wish to start my sip from the 25th of the coming week so i'm going to select 25th as the date on which the sip is going to start now i'm given a variety of options uh, as to whether i want it to be a weekly sip a fortnightly sip or a monthly sip so i wish to stay with a monthly sip because it makes financial sense for me and then i'm going to choose the amount of sip that i wish to have so in this case i'm going to leave it at 4990 and then i'm going to review the order so once that is done i'm going to click on start sip and the minute i do that the sip gets enabled so you, now you can see that for this portfolio the sip is active similarly for this portfolio since we have not enabled the sip you will find the sip inactive button displayed over here so now what do you do if you want to exit a portfolio so now as we had discussed there are no lock in periods whatsoever on the ecosystem so now if you wish to exit a particular small case or a particular basket all you have to do is under the my investment section you'll find your portfolio you can click on the portfolio and you can scroll down under which you can see the exit small case option so now we are going to take a look at how to exit the portfolio also all you have to do is click on the exit small case option now at we as we had discussed we have two options either we can exit the portfolio portfolio in a partial way or we can exit the portfolio as a whole so now let us say that i wish to exit the portfolio in a partial way what i can do is i can select the partial amount that i wish to exit from in this case i'm going to choose 10000 and i'm going to confirm so once i do that it will select the nearest approximate amount which can weigh the portfolio equally in this case the system has selected 10258 as the ideal amount for which you need to be exiting the portfolio and then 
I'm going to click on the exit small case option after which that amount gets exited from my account. If I wish to exit the whole portfolio, I'm going to click on the whole option over here. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on the exit small case option. And once I confirm the orders again, you just have to wait for 15 to 20 seconds and all the orders are right now being exited from your own trading and DMAT account, which means that all the four ETFs that were purchased from your account will now be removed from it completely and the sell orders will be placed at the current market price itself. So now we can see that all these orders have been filled. Now, if you head over to the my investment section, you basically do not see the portfolio anymore because you've exited from the portfolio. Similarly, if you wish to access or if you wish to explore more portfolios on the platform, you just have to come over to HDFC securities and then head over to the discover tab and click on all small cases. So once you do that, basically you'll find quite a list of quite a lot of portfolios with different ideas and themes. So you find a variety of portfolios according to your volatility and your risk levels. So now let us say that you wish to find a portfolio with a lower volatility level. So all you have to do is click on the low volatility option here and you will be given portfolios which are low volatility portfolios, which means that these portfolios generally do not tend to fluctuate too much with the market conditions. So let me start off with an example. Let us take a look at all weather investing. Now, this is a portfolio in which there are three ETFs. That is Nippon India Gold B CTF in gold. And in equity, we have two ETFs that is Junior Bs and Nifty 50. And in debt, we have Liquid Bs. So these three sectors or asset classes make up this particular portfolio. Now, when we head over to the overview section and scroll down, we will basically be able to see how this portfolio has performed historically and also live during the market. So this portfolio has been made live, as you can see on my screen, approximately near the July 31st of 2018. So you can actually make it more accurate by clicking on the live button here and you will be displayed. The, the live portfolio will be displayed to you. So here the blue line represents the portfolio that we are talking about. That is all weather investing and the yellow line represents the uh, large cap index with which it is being automatically compared. So now, as you can see, during the March COVID crisis, when the markets had corrected by approximately 40%, our portfolio, that is all weather investing, managed to more or less sustain itself and not go through the deeper corrections that the market underwent. So the reason for this is because of diversification into asset classes like gold and liquid bees. So what this has done is it has provided a cushion effect and the markets have not really taken a toll on this particular portfolio. And this portfolio has managed to consistently return about 13.5% on an annual basis every year. So similarly, on this, you know, on the HDFC ecosystem, you will also find high risk portfolios which are expected to perform really well if the market conditions you know, uh, support it. So you can also select portfolios depending on the performance of the portfolio. So you can go to the sort by option over here and you can click on the sort by option and you can click on, let us say you wish to explore the best portfolios from the past one year. So all you have to do is click on the sort by option and click on one year. So once you do that, the best portfolios which have performed in the last one year will be visible to you. For example, LNT pack in the past one year has given a return of about 163% to its users. Fallen Angels have given about 63% return. Bajaj pack has given about 60% return and so on. Similarly, you can explore more portfolios with respect to different time durations. So if you want to explore portfolios which have performed really well during the last six months, you can click on the six months option. If you want to explore the best portfolios for the last three years, you can click on the three years options, then you can click on the five years option and so on. So as per the availability of the portfolio on the ecosystem, it will be visible to you. Now, you may also wish to explore portfolios as per the investment amount that you want. So some of you might want portfolios under 5,000 of ticket size. Some of you might want portfolios under 25,000, under 50,000 and so on. So in this case, I'm going to choose the under 5,000 option for which we have two portfolios available. That is equity and gold and all weather investing. Under 25,000, we have these many portfolios available and so on. 
So this, I believe, gives a basic overview of how you should be looking at this ecosystem and how you should be getting to decide which portfolios to buy and which portfolios to you know, invest in. Now, we also have one more facility, which is called as the investment strategy option. So this is for tech savvy investors who have a particular idea already predefined in their mind. So if you wish to participate in growth based portfolios, you can click on the growth option and you will find growth based portfolios listed here. If you wish to participate in dividend based portfolios, that will be visible over here. If you wish to participate in fundamental portfolios or quantum mental portfolios or thematic portfolios, all that will be displayed over here as per the risk profile that you have selected. So under 50,000, if you look at these five sectors, uh, these five investment strategies, you will basically find three portfolios that is dividend aristocrats, rising rural demand and the pharma sector fund. So this is how the basket investing option on the HDFC securities platform works. Now, I believe that most of the questions or most of the queries or basic fundamental questions that you will have about basket investing have been addressed so far. Now I'm keeping the floor open for any sort of questions that you as users might tend to have. So I'm going to take these questions one by one. I can already notice some questions in the chat box over here. But if you wish to ask more questions or inquire more questions, you can feel free to post that in the chat box right now and I'll be taking it up. All right. So the first question is from Sanjay who asks, is there an exit fee? So no Sanjay, as we had discussed, uh, we do not have any sort of exit fees on the small case platform um, or on the HDFC platform. Uh, these baskets are completely free of cost and we do not also keep any sort of exit loads and uh, uh, you can exit the post, you know, you can exit the portfolio as and when you deem fit. So it can be as low as one day from the date of subscription or as high as one year, two years, three years from the date of subscription or from the date of investing in that portfolio. Now, the next question is from Divanshu, who says how small case is different from mutual fund and is there an option to rebalance? So uh, I believe that is there an option to self rebalance for okay. So there is an option to self rebalance, but we do not generally tend to recommend it to retail investors who do not know what they're exactly doing. So it may, in many a cases, we might be influenced by external factors like the market conditions or a recommendation coming in from, um, you know, a colleague or a friend or whatever it might be. And we might try, try to take our own decisions with respect to managing our portfolio, which is already being managed by a fund manager. So even though that option is available, I strongly suggest that that option should be considered only if you really know what you're doing. Otherwise, we generally recommend that the SEBI registered advisor manages your portfolio. OK, now the next question is, how is it different from mutual funds? So uh, basically, every particular instrument in the market has its own set of benefits. So mutual funds have their own set of benefits. Small cases have their own set of benefits. Uh, PMS have their own set of benefits. So each of these instruments are different from a fundamental standpoint and from the investor's perspective. So small case in a way provides an avenue for fund managers to design thematic portfolios like, um, you know, uh, for example, we have a portfolio called dividend. We have a portfolio called, um, for example, electric mobility, where we invest in stocks which have a very high exposure to the um, uh, you know, electric vehicle sector in India. So if the demand for electric vehicles increases, then this portfolio is set to benefit out of it. Then we have another portfolio called rising rural demand, where we invest in those companies or those stocks which have a very strong foothold in tier two and tier three cities in India. So if the consumption story plays out in the long run in India, then the consumption story obviously will play out more so in tier two and tier three cities, which will indirectly benefit these stocks, which will probably you know in, uh, make these companies perform better. So ideas or thematic portfolios like this are direct equity portfolios that you will generally tend to find only on platforms like small case, which is one of the added benefits if uh, you want to participate in such kind of portfolios. Now, 
The next question is, is it similar to upstocks? What is the difference between small case and upstock? So this is a question that uh, I believe Shri Kumar is a self-explanatory. Upstocks is a broker and small case is basically a platform where uh, direct equity portfolios are being curated. So again, uh, HDFC Securities is the platform in question today. So the portfolios that we have designed is in collaboration with HDFC Securities, which have been listed on the HDFC platform. Now, the next question is, uh, if I'm already with another small case on chargeable basis, can I move that subscription to HDFC? Uh, I believe, uh, Praveen, you can redirect this question to your relationship manager at HDFC, and he will be in a better position to uh, address this query. Then I have an NRO account. Can I invest to HDFC bank login or require HDFC securities account? Again, um, uh, I believe that this is something that you can get in touch with your concerned relationship manager at HDFC and he'll be able to address it. So the next question is, how long will it take for the funds to be credited once you exit the basket? So this is just like uh, any other uh, stock investment uh, uh, person. So if it's a T plus two, then that's how long it's going to take for the funds to get credited. So it is just small case. Exiting a small case is no different from exiting individual stocks that you've purchased in your own trading and payment account. All right. So how is this any different from PMS? OK, uh, so Sanjay, how this is different from a PMS is that uh, the regulatory wise, the minimum requirement or the minimum ticket size for a PMS starts from 50 lakhs, which means that a user has to be a high ultra high net worth individual to start off with a minimum of 50 lakhs ticket size investment. But on the small case platform, we do not have that restriction. So users can start even as low as 500,000, depending on the size of the portfolio. So the next question is, does small case basket investing have portfolios based on foreign markets? OK, so Kaushik, uh, that is not yet enabled on the small case platform. Uh, we are still waiting for uh, some sort of compliance requirements and regulatory requirements to step in. That is something that we will consider in the future. But as of now, uh, no, we do not have that enabled. So can we request for avoiding a particular stock? So uh, Sanjay, yes, you can request for avoiding a particular stock in the sense you do not have to request it. But since the control lies with you, you can log into your account, select the portfolio that you've invested in, click on the minus button and exit that portfolio. It is fairly simple and we have self explanatory videos also available, which you can check out and uh, it's, it's fairly simple to do that. So yes, since you're in complete control of your own account, you can choose to exit uh these stocks by directly coming to the small case platform or log logging into your hdfc securities account removing the stock that you wish to remove from the 10 stocks that you might have and basically delisted from there so the you will be remaining with the the rest of the portfolio will still remain intact okay so uh the next one is with respect to brokerage so again like i said the brokerage charges um are you'll have to get in touch with your respective relationship manager at the HDFC and they will be able to take up those questions. So without, uh, I, I believe that uh, all the questions have been addressed uh, by us from small case and also from HDFC. So if you have any other questions, you can feel free to post it in the chat box. We can take it up. And uh, otherwise I would like to uh, maybe conclude this session. And uh, I would like to thank everyone who has joined in today. And uh, I would ask HDFC Securities also to come on board right now. Yes, Parag, okay. uh, thank you for this uh, wonderful webinar. Mm -hmm. It was a great webinar. Thanks for the information provided to our customers. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for having me. Yes, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, everyone, for tuning in. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.